Welcome. We would like to show you the Frankert experiment on Mercury from 3B Scientific. First, I want to show you the most required units for the experimental setup. It's the heating chamber with the Frankert tube inside. The operating unit and an oscilloscope to display the measured curve. The heating chamber has a display where you can read off the actual and nominal temperatures. The temperature can be increased or decreased by pushing the plus and minus buttons. It takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes maximum to reach the temperature of 210 degree Celsius. The operating unit has a display where all voltages can be read off. The settings can be made with these knobs according to the labels and to connect the operating unit with the Frankert tube you use these plugs. First we're gonna start with the connections. We use a BNC cable to connect the collector electrode to the operating unit. Then we connect the filament according to the color coordination the green and the black cables are used for connecting the filament and we use a red cable to connect the anode to the power supply After this, we use a BNC cable with 4 mm plugs on the other end. The left connection is for displaying the accelerating voltage and the right connection is to display the collector current which is connected to channel 2 on the oscilloscope. The filament voltage should be between 6 and 7 volts. It can be increased with this knob and we will use a filament heating of 6.3 volts. After this, we increase the accelerating voltage, which shouldn't be too high. We will start with a value of 41 volts. This is the right level of the ramp. which is already displayed here on the oscilloscope. We will adjust the settings on the oscilloscope and if this curve with maxima and minima of the current is already displayed you can switch to XY mode. Try to position the curve in the middle of the screen. The left side of the curve can be cut off by increasing the left level of the ramp.
by increasing the accelerating voltage we gain more maxima and minima. Further adjustments can be made with the amplifier and the reverse voltage of the grid. With these settings we already can evaluate our measurements. <coughs> With this oscilloscope we use the cursors We measure the distance between two minimas and we gain a distance of approximately 5 volts if the settings are made properly. Here we have 520 millivolts. One has to take into account that one has to multiply the value on the oscilloscope with 10 according to the electronics inside the operating unit. Another thing that is very important is not to exceed the accelerating voltage to a certain level Otherwise, there will be flashbacks on the mercury tube, which can be seen through the chamber. So we lower the accelerating voltage until the flashbacks no longer occur. As a last thing, one can switch from ramp to manual operation operating with these settings one is positioning the accelerating voltage to a certain level and with these settings one can even see the glowing areas in the mercury tube. If there are any questions remaining, please feel free to contact 3B Scientific. Thank you for watching.